D.C. gets most of the credit for helping legalize women's suffrage. More than 100 years ago, it's a story historians are working to share this month in Women's History Month. Here's our Jared Austin. A statue of three women in Market Square brings visitors looking to learn more about how they help change United States law. I think it's incredibly American, and I think that's what I enjoy about um, being in this part of the country. The fight for giving women the right to vote. One of the three women who helped, Knoxville native Lizzie Crozier French. She was really important to the development of um, access to education. But this wasn't the final piece needed for women's voting rights. A statue a block away from Market Square shows us Feb Byrne and her son Harry, McMinn County's representative in the state house. Lawmakers were voting on women's suffrage during his tenure. It had come down to a tie. Um, there were a number of people, again, involved in this whole story, but it comes down to Harry Byrne, who the first time through on the vote voted against the amendment. What changed his mind? A note from his mom asking him to vote for women's suffrage. He listened to mom. She knew what she was asking him to do, and she took it very seriously. So he receives that letter, and later he gives that letter partial credit anyway, and sometimes full credit for being what changed his mind. One vote giving women this right. That's something I'm proud of about Tennessee also. All right, if you want to learn more about this, they have plenty of resources that you can do. So all you have to do is check it out at the East Tennessee Historical Society.